Hey Aries, how are you guys doing? I'm so excited to do your reading. You know I'm always pumped to do your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to me. And I really do appreciate when you guys like the video, okay? It, um, it helps me to know that I'm doing a good job. Even though I know I'm doing a good job regardless. But you know I'm saying? Kind of boost the ego a little bit. <laughs> So, um, just keep in mind, this is a general reading, you know, it's, it's not meant to resonate to the T for every single Aries, and for some of you, it just won't resonate. Um, why? Because you cannot make it re resonate for every Aries in the world, right? Um, for some of you, this is something happening now in the near future or the future. Readings are timeless. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so this is for Aries, um, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, whatever you want to call it. Antarctica, I say that shit all the time. <laughs> so let's see who or what is coming towards you in love. All right, so this will be for Aries Collective, please, Spirit. Help me to connect to the Aries Collective, the higher selves of those that I will be reading for today. Who or what is coming towards Aries in love, please? Who or what is coming towards the Aries Collective in love? Aries could be dealing with a Pisces. Ooh, wonder what that's like. <laughs> All right. Bottom of the deck is the nine of, is this that nine of swords? No, this is the nine of wands. Okay. So let's see. Angel, spirit, white light, who or what is coming towards the Aries collective in love, please? Who or what is coming towards the Aries collective in love, please? What do I need to see for, ooh, for Aries? Okay, I'm going to take clarity of belief. I feel pulled to take this card. This is the Ace of Swords. Now one more card, please. Who or what is coming towards the Aries collective in love? Those born under the star sign of Aries. Who is coming towards them in love, spirit? Okay, Aries, you could be dealing with the Leo. This is the strength card, which is control. Okay, bottom of the deck is open up. This is the four of pentacles. So let's see what the heck is going on with my Aries today. Oh, sorry. I want to pull from these cards too. Angel, spirit, white light. Who are what's coming towards the Aries collective in love, please? Show me what I need to see for Aries in love. Ooh. I don't need that many cards, Spirit. Just one will do. Who or what's coming towards the Aries Collective in love? Okay, you have marriage. And you also have expectation. Okay. Despair is in the reverse. I'm also going to pull from the Romance Angels. You guys know the deal. Who or what's coming towards Aries in love, please? Who or what's coming towards the Aries Collective in love, please, Spirit? What do I need to see for the Aries Collective in love? Who or what's coming towards them in love? Aries. Aries. Who or what's coming towards Aries in love? Okay. All right, so you have <laughs> love yourself first. Let me take another card, please. <laughs> I know a lot of you are definitely loving yourselves, not giving a damn what anyone has to say about it. Oh, and then you have engagement. Okay. Aries, what is going on? Bottom of the deck is very soon. Are some of you getting engaged soon? There's some sort of proposal coming from my Aries. You know why I say that? Because the Ace of Swords can definitely mean some sort of marriage proposal, okay? It's a proposal of marriage. Like, oh, I just got this idea. Let's get married, baby. Could be dealing with a Gemini. For what is coming towards Aries in love, please. What do I need to see for the general collective of Aries in love? I know some of you don't really like the shuffling and shit, but you could just skip on with that show. Miserable, negative Nancy ass. Ooh, strange shows up again. I'm telling you, a lot of you could be dealing with a Leo. The higher fit, the lovers. Okay. 
angel, spirit, white light. Who or what is coming towards the Aries collective in love, please? Messages for Aries. Who or what is coming towards the Aries collective in love? What do I need to see for Aries in love? All right, Aries, you have the tower. So something is changing unexpectedly. Something is happen happening unexpectedly. Something that you did not expect, okay? Something is happening unexpectedly. This could be good or bad, so let's see. You have the tower card. You have, oh wow, that is so sweet. The ace of cups. You have the four of swords, which is what that rest and consider was about. Um, and then you also have the three of pentacles. You know, I'm starting to I'm starting to get intuitively what this is about, but let's let's see. Who or what is coming towards Aries in love, please? Ooh, here you are, Aries. Emperor, who or what's coming towards Aries in love? Can I have one more card, Spirit? Who or what is coming towards the Aries Collective in love? Okay. And you have the Three of Wands. And that go ties in with this um, expectation card for sure. So. All right, Aries. So what I'm going to tell you is that Something unex something is really happening to you unexpectedly. I'm telling you. Now I'm not. This is not to say that everyone's gonna get some sort of engagement. Every Aries is gonna get a ring put on their finger or no. Okay, but for a good percentage of you Aries, I feel like a lot of you, there's some sort of proposal coming towards you. Somebody wants to marry you or someone wants to get engaged to you, Aries. I'm telling you. Somebody really wants to build with you and take the connection to the next level. This person could be, uh, let's see what signs I have here. Okay, Leo, very strong. Could be another Aries. Aries, Aries. Ooh. Um, it could be any earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For a small percentage of you, could be um, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But somebody really wants to be your man or be your woman. It doesn't matter. Okay? Somebody, because the emperor is all about commitment. This is what he's about. You know, he doesn't play any games. He's not um, dipping and dabbling in other people. He's not interested in anything fly by night, one night stand. He wants something grounded, solid, and stable. He actually wants a legacy. He wants commitment. He wants long term. Aries. So I do feel like somebody is really, someone that you're talking to is seriously interested in you seriously and they really do want to take things to the next level with you um you have the three of wands here uh for a lot of, for some of you this this person could be at a distance from you long distance right um you know overseas over waters shit you know <laughs> it could be any of that but someone really sees a future with you you see how he's looking out into that uh, sunset? Like, they could really see themselves with you for a long time and being happy. Because after the three comes the four of wands, which is happiness, stability. Fours are all about stability, okay? So, I definitely feel like somebody really wants to take things to the next level. And it's going to come as a surprise to you, Aries. You're not going to be expecting it. It's going to shock you. And, you know, the four of swords is here because you're going to have to think about it. For a lot of you, you're going to have to just be like, okay, I need a breather. <laughs> Let me think about this. I don't think you guys are going to say yes right away, but it's something you got to think about. Okay. For others of you, this does not have to mean someone's going to come and propose to you. But um, for others of you, this means that this someone who has been taking on the emperor energy, someone may be very stubborn, very nonchalant, Okay set in their ways maybe um, this person never told you that they love you they never um admitted to their feelings because this is someone who is very like um alpha if you're dealing with a man they're very alpha so they don't really like to talk about their feelings um and if it's a woman it's the same thing it doesn't matter man and woman could be very alpha they don't really like to talk about their feelings and shit like that okay so this person is really coming to um, explain their feelings to you, to talk to you, to let you know that they do love you. For a lot of them, they're going to tell you the um, the word, the I love you, right? That's what they're going to tell you. I love you. And um, you're going to have to, you know, maybe you don't have communication with this person. Maybe it's been separation for some time. But this person is definitely going to come in and, and, and reveal their feelings to you. And I feel like you wouldn't, you wouldn't have expect this person to do that or expected them to do or say this. And it's going to really shock you. And they're going to tell you, you know what, Aries, um, I see a future with you, okay? 
I really do see us um, taking things to the next level, okay? I see you as my wife. I see you as my husband. Like, this is what I really want, okay? I'm serious. I'm dedicated, okay? For some of you, for a lot of you, I feel like you've been, you know, you've been dating. You've been loving yourself, doing you, okay? You've been very patient, waiting, because you know that your ships are coming in. You know that the right person is coming in for you. I feel like a lot of you are being very confident, okay? You know that... Um, you're manifesting the, the right person for you, the right offer. You've been waiting and holding out for the right offer. You haven't been dealing with any bullshit. If it doesn't smell right, if it's fishy, you're not dealing with it. And with this engagement card, Aries, someone, okay, not all of you, but you're, a lot of you, uh, a lot of you, uh, a good percentage of you are going to be getting proposed to, okay? Okay, you can expect some type of marriage proposal, okay? And... With the control card, I feel like um, this is someone, uh, for if it's not about marriage, this person was really controlling themselves. They were controlling their feelings for you. They were just really rigid in keeping it to themselves. That's it. They just really didn't want to express their love to you. They didn't want to be vulnerable. They just kind of had this bad boy macho thing. You know, even if it's a woman, like they were trying to act like they didn't have feelings, right? They're going to come and clarify that for you clarity or clarity of belief sorry this is the ace of swords so a lot of communi uh, communication is coming into you very soon aries and um this is going to be a breakthrough for you this is clarity this is a breakthrough this is um kind of like a breath of fresh air like wow okay now i know why you're acting this way now i know like things i feel like august is going to be a month of clarity for you aries for sure Okay, so let's get some clarification going because, um, because I'm interested to see more about these, these cards. Clarify the tower, please, spirit. Who or what is coming towards the Aries Collective in love? Why is the tower here for Aries in love? Why is the tower here for Aries in love? Aries, you have the Page of Swords. You have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And you also have the Ten of Wands in the Okay, so someone definitely wants to get something off their chest to you, Aries. Okay? Um, and I feel like this person may have been moving, could be a Capricorn, but this person was moving extremely slow. And I feel like they felt like they needed more information about you or maybe you needed more information about them. Just take it however it resonates. It's general. Um, but somebody was really doing research on you, Aries. And it seems like they're done with their research and they feel like you are someone that they want to take things to the next level. <laughs> it's like this is someone who was like kind of paranoid. Maybe this is why they're showing up as the emperor. This is someone who really didn't want to show feelings unless they knew um, how you feel unless they knew that you were like a good match for them or something like that so for a lot of you this person needed to go and do their own little research on you that is hilarious yeah i don't sense that this is someone crazy i just think that they really need to do their own they needed to get more information about you before they come towards you with this offer because this is someone i feel aries that really wants to get married like they really want a commitment they're looking for something serious Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Who or what's coming towards the Aries Collective in love? Why is the Ace of Cups here? For those of you who are not dealing with anyone right now, this could, like I said in the beginning, pay attention because this is something that could, that is happening in the near future or the future, okay? This will be your situation. Yeah. So this person... Um, for a lot of you, like I said, they may have detached from you and they, um, almost like they weren't really making much of an effort, okay? Um, for some of you, this is a, a past person coming back. And for others of you, this is someone that you're currently dating or talking to, right? And they've been acting kind of like a little distant, could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but they've been acting a little cold, you know, checking things out, a little weary. But it looks like they've made up their mind here, Aries, if they've made up their mind here and for some of you, you cut this person off if they are from the past because you just kind of felt like you know if you're not going to um 
if I'm if you're not gonna make a final decision about me or this or where this is going, then I'm out. Clarify the four of swords for Aries. Who are what's coming towards Aries and love? Where's the four of swords here? Hierophant. Woo-hoo. Mm. Yeah, a lot of you could be um, you could be dealing with a Taurus. I have, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy very strong here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very strong. I have Libra as well. But Aries, yeah, someone definitely wants to commit to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone is looking at you, and they have, like, commitment eyes when they look at you, for sure. So this is what you're going to have to make a decision about. You're going to, for some of you, like I said, you know, um, if this is a marriage proposal, engagement, whatever the case may be, you're going to take time to really think about it if you want to be with this person long term. Okay, because they, they're serious. This person is showing up as a king. Even if they're a woman, this is someone very serious. You know, pages, knights, they cannot take you to the altar. They cannot do much for you whatsoever because they're still learning. They're still growing. But... Kings, yeah, they can make it happen, of course, right? They've mastered themselves. They know what they want. Um, they've controlled their 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 emotions and their temptations and desires. Let's clarify the... You keep coming out, Aries. It's so funny. Yeah, somebody really wants to be your man or your woman. Clarify the three of pentacles here. Okay. In the past, maybe this person didn't know what they want. For some of you, could be dealing with a cancer. Um, but maybe in the past, they didn't really know what they want, and they were all over the place. But now, it seems like this person, they, they, really, they have really made up their mind, and it's you that they, they want to be with. And um, the Page of Wands is good news coming to you if you have been waiting for this person to say something. They will. They sure will. Clarify the Emperor, please. Who or what is this emperor for Aries, please, in love? Yeah, this person was acting as if they didn't have feelings for you, Aries. Yeah, they were acting as if they didn't have feelings. This is for some of you, Aries, that, you know, this is not about a proposal or whatever, right? This is someone who really, they were acting immature in the past. They were. They just they they were emotionally immature. I think this person has definitely grown up, okay, and they're ready to stop playing games, <laughs> and they're ready to make something happen with you now, Aries. And it's gonna come as a shock to you. Clarify the three of wands. For some of you, this person might even propose you guys move in together. What I just heard, or move to another town or another state. Yeah, a lot of you, I feel like you were just, you were just really dating. You were just dating, right? You're just dabbling in your options, having fun. You're not really committed to anybody. For some of you, you weren't even looking for a commitment, you know? And then now that you're not looking for a commitment, here it comes. Now that you don't give a damn anymore, here it comes. It's like it's coming to your doorstep. You don't even have to do anything. A lot of you are definitely healing, right? You're heal you are healing from maybe a third-party situation in the past. But um, I feel like Aries, yeah, someone definitely wants to, they, 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 they feel like you are their happiness. That's what they feel, and they just cannot resist you any longer. Scorpio energy, Sagittarius energy here. Yeah, you are their ten of, <laughs> you are their ten of cups, Aries. Yeah, uh-huh, you are their ten of cups, and they want to move things forward with you, Aries. They want a brand new beginning with you. They feel a lot of passion towards you. And, um, you know, they've been keeping their silence for, for long enough, okay? And they feel like you are their dream woman or their dream man. Could be an Aquarius, but now they're ready to make that offer, Aries. I'm telling you, this, per this person's coming in. What you're going to do, Aries? What will your answer be? That's what I'm seeing. That is what I am seeing for Aries. <laughs> Very interesting. Mm. 
you have rewrite your story yeah so some of these people like this is someone from the past and they fucked up maybe they had you involved in a third party situation in the past but now they know that it's really you that they want and they they're willing to do whatever it takes to show you that they're serious about you they want to rewrite the story okay um yeah and then you have stoked as well riding the wave of positive manifestation excited dream come true great things are happening i'm telling you aries great things are happening for you aries wow a lot of you really manifested um if if this is not someone that you have a past history with you manifested this new person into your life this new love um that's happening for you very soon and i'm so excited for you guys thank you so much for supporting my channel i love you guys so much thank you for the support and i will see you guys later